Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to stain an antler using potassium permanganate. And I'm going to tell you what you need and how to do it. Alright, so what you guys are going to need to stain your antlers is of course an antler. You're going to need potassium permanganate. You're going to need steel wool, sponge, paintbrush, gloves because this stuff will stain your hands really bad and you're going to need sandpaper and I also have some clear gloss and this is just to do once like the day after or even the night the night of doing it um, it just gives the antler that kind of shine so it doesn't look dull so to start you're going to want to mix your potassium permanganate with water it does look purple but it stains brown okay a lot of people do multiple coats um, of a lighter I tend to mix a little a little heavier because I like to get a dark dark brown and then sand off the high points to make it look more natural but you can do multiple coats or you can just do one one or two strong coats to get that super dark chocolate so it looks like just a dark dark purple kind of almost like a cranberry juice um, so you get that all mixed up so I normally start with a sponge just dab the sponge in it stab the sponge in it you can use whatever side was times down as a color reference but I like to go darker I personally I just like the darker antlers so I like to stain a little bit darker um, but for this I'm going to start with the back make sure you have something down because it will stain furniture it stains practically everything. So for now I'm just going to use the sponge to apply it. Just dab, dab a little corner and you're just going to, I just like to rub it in. Like I was saying, it looks, it looks purple, but it will dry into a dark brown. And I just like to cover the entire area once and then I'll go go from there based on based on color and how dark I want it. All right, so I let it dry and you can already see a huge color difference coming out. The back side is the side that I was staining and it just doesn't have it's not all the way dry yet, but it's just not gonna have the same texture so this is where the sandpaper comes in big because you're gonna have to sand down these bumps so you can get that texture otherwise it just looks like a flat dark chocolate and you don't want that All right, so after sanding it, I'm not completely satisfied with the color on the back side. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it again with another coat of the potassium permanganate. And you can honestly do this as many times as you want until you get it to the color you want it. Because you can always just sand it off, start over. I just did some parts, but I just wasn't liking the texture of the color. So I'm going to hit it again and then going to sand it again and then see where I'm at. All right, I just let the second coat dry. It's coming along nicely. You can still see the texture marks from where I sanded after the applying the first coat. So I'm gonna sand it again, and it might be good enough to hit it with the clear gloss to get that shine. It'll get a shine and texture and start to look a lot more like this inside. Okay, so after I just got done sanding it, it's looking good. It's it'll when you're done sanding it, it'll kind of be powdery from the sandpaper. So what I just went and did is I ran my hand into the sink for a little bit and got it wet to kind of wipe off all the dust and stuff from sanding it. So now that I'm happy with the color and the texture, I'm going to hit it with the clear gloss just so it locks in that moisture look and it makes it look shiny like a natural antler would. 
and while this backside dries, I'm going to go over what is going to pretty much eliminate from, uh, being able to do this to an antler. So this fourth one I found is nice, has good color on the inside, but it was tines down. So the backside here, you can see it has these cracks in it. Once it starts to crack, it's pretty much, you're not going to be able to stain it because it starts to get all spongy and that stuff just doesn't absorb the potassium good. So it doesn't turn out very well. The inside is still great and you could do the inside, but then you'd have hard white with a brown inside. So you're going to have, if you want to do an antler, it's got to be hard white without cracks or very few cracks. This one just has too many cracks and it goes all the way pretty much through all the beams. So you want these natural lines of white. That's what looks normal here. But when I, mine looks, it looks all right down here at the bottom. It looks good. But then as I get up here, I kind of messed up a little bit. But that's an easy fix. That's just a little more sanding. But I'm not going to do this in this video. I just thought I'd let you guys know that you can do more. It's just a time project, and I was just kind of throwing this together. So I don't have the best lighting because I'm doing this in a hotel room. But this is the end product. The gloss dried up. It still has that normal antler shine. This is the back side. Might have gone a little bit darker than I wanted to, but I think it still looks good. If you guys have any questions about any of this process, feel free to leave a comment. And thanks for watching. I just kind of threw this together real quick. So if I miss anything, I'm sorry. But this is how you stain an antler with potassium permanganate.